So you read the polygamy revelation here, and you see if you like Mormon polygamy, it's that is an intact commandment. And that's one of the few items that the hierarchy hasn't redacted. Those guys, they'll they do more changes than a chameleon in a in a rainbow. You are about to enter another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land of imagination. Next stop, the Twilight Zone. And so here in the second paragraph, he says, I say unto you, all covenants, contracts, bonds, blah, blah, down to where my finger is, are of no efficacy, virtue, or force. And five, I say if a man marry a wife and make a covenant for, with her for time and for all eternity, and if that covenant is not by me, blah, 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 it has no force. It's not valid. And this is what led, you know, to the Mountain Meadows Massacre. These guys think they're the gods. The gods of old, the men of renown, Nephilim, Nephites, who think they can take other men's wives with impunity because they've legislated themselves as superior. Well, we saw the fruit of that one. Down here on 6 and 7, you get a nice definition of innocent blood. You know, that took care of the issue up above, you know, the fruit. God commanded Abraham and Sarah gave Hagar. You know, God didn't command Abraham to do that. Sarah talked Abe into it. He thumps Hagar. Then he gets circumcision because he thumped Hagar. That wasn't like a reward. That wasn't like the $10,000 prize. It was second prize. You know, that was the steak knives or second prize. Take the steak knives and circumcise yourself. That was second prize. So Joe got it wrong. I've got it right. I think I'm wrong. Just read the Bible. In the back, the New Testament, not the Old Testament. In the New Testament, it tells you that circumcision is of nothing. And if you girls are going to get into aesthetics, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to discuss aesthetics. And here in paragraph 14, we see the word gods. And he describes how angels are just these things, you know. They're not like, uh, they haven't been exalted into, you know, that celestial endless sex stuff. But here on paragraph 21, you get some sense of Mormon aesthetics. Joseph threatens to murder his wife if she doesn't toe the line. That's a Freemasonry pun there. Toe. 